Let's start with the basics. What is the Internet of Things? Sometimes called IoT, the Internet of Things is defined by the Pew Research Center as a catch-all phrase for the array of devices, appliances, vehicles, wearable material, and sensor-laden parts of the environment that connect to the Internet and to one another and feed data back and forth automatically. Put more simply, it's a series of devices connected to one another via the Internet. You might enter information into these devices, or they may collect information via sensors. Autonomous sensors are more common when we're talking about the Internet of Things. They collect and even use data automatically without any input from a user. Then that information is sent to other devices via internet connections. You probably use IoT devices every day without realizing it. If you wear a fitness tracker or use a home security system, that's IoT. Data is automatically collected and used to inform other technologies and processes. Increasingly, IoT is starting to be used for government work too. Here's a real life example. The city of San Francisco uses IoT by connecting several thousand of its parking meters via sensors so that drivers can find open spaces using a simple app. The program also adjusts meter and garage pricing in order to match demand. That keeps traffic flowing smoothly and citizens happy. Some other cities have Internet of Things enabled trash cans. Yep, trash cans. The sensor on a trash can can relay data about when the bin is full, helping optimize a garbage truck's pickup route. That saves time and money for the trash collectors and keeps the city clean for citizens. As you can tell from these examples, IoT comes in many forms that can do all sorts of things. The possibilities are pretty much endless. But before you dive into IoT, make sure you consider the risks and have a plan to mitigate them.